Hello everyone and welcome to the algorithm series. So we will continue the series with recurrence relations. So many recursive program turn into a recurrence relation actually and we will see how mathematically you can find out the time complexity without running it on the computer. First we can judge the time complexity mathematically and then we can predict how much better or optimized our program is. So that's how recurrence relations are important. So we will take some example of recurrence relation, then I will take some programming example, then we will turn them into a recurrence relation and then mathematically you will see how we can judge the time complexity without running it on computer. And then we can compare two algorithms with the index. So this is, the, this is called the termination condition actually. This one is called the termination condition means when the value of n is 1 means the, when the value of n is 1 we will just replace that value by 1 that is the meaning this is called termination condition in the programming actually so our relation is tn equal to t of n minus 1 plus n right so if we want to see some examples of it say if i am writing t of 80 so it will be i am taking n as 80 just to make things smooth actually so it will be t of n minus 1 is 79 plus n is 80 right it will look like this and say if i am taking t of 9 so it will be t of 8 plus 9 right so now the beauty of recurrence relation is it is actually representing the recursion means when t of n is calling the same function see function is calling itself this function is calling itself there are other uses also this is one of the use right so say if i want to here i have written t of n if i want to write t of n minus 1 so what will be the case then it will become t of n minus 2 plus instead of n we will write n minus 1 so what i have simply done is i have replaced n with n minus 1 at everywhere right so now i will just expand this relation t of n minus 1 will be equal to t of so just expanding it t of n minus 2 right plus n minus 1 and this n will take as same value right then I will again expand t of n minus 2. So t of n minus 2 will become, if I write it here, n minus 2. So it will become replace n by n minus 2, right? So this will become t of n minus 3 and then t of then n minus 2. So now substituting n minus 2 here, so it will be t of n minus 3 plus n minus 2. And these two values, these same two values, we have to put in next step, right? So, plus n minus 1 from above plus n, right? Similarly, when we expand it more, n minus 3 will be n minus 4, right? So, the relation here is, if we see very clearly, this value, this value is 1 less than this, right? Whenever we are expanding it, why I am saying so? We have to make a relation. Suppose this runs k time. Suppose in terms of programming, if I am saying, suppose this, this thing runs k time and program get terminated. Means after k times, this value inside will become 1. Right? That is the meaning. So suppose this runs k times. It is running k times and program gets terminated. This k times also is having some meaning actually. Slowly, step by step, we will see. So, k times is, see, first time it rained, n minus 1 was there. Second time, n minus 2, k, third time, n minus 3. So, this will become n minus k times, right? And then this value is 1 less than this value. This value is 1 less than this value, right? So, plus n minus, here will be k minus 1. And this value is 2 less than this value this value is 2 less than this value right i am talking about this value this value is 2 less than this value right so this will be 
प्लस एन माइनस के माइनस टू राइट एन प्लस एन माइनस के माइनस थ्री राइट एंड सो ऑन एंड सो ऑन टिल द लास्ट वैल्यू लास्ट वैल्यू वॉज द वैल्यू विच इज गेटिंग प्रोपोगेटेड फ्रॉम अब राइट टिल एन राइट इट विल बी लाइक हेयर फ्रॉम के इट इज गेटिंग डिक्रीज एक्चुअली सो हेयर वी आई एम डिक्रीजिंग वन फ्रॉम के टू थ्री फोर एंड देन के फ्रॉम के राइट सो दिस विल बी एन माइनस जीरो एनी वे राइट सो आई एम सिंपली राइटिंग एन राइट सो वट आई टोल्ड वट आई एज्यूम्ड और वट आई टोल्ड टू सॉल्व इट इट रैन के टाइम्स एंड दिस प्रोग्राम गॉट टर्मिनेटेड द मीनिंग इज दिस इज द टर्मिनेशन कंडीशन द मीनिंग इज वेन इट रैन के टाइम राइट when it ran k time so this value became 1 that is the meaning actually right this value became 1 that's how termination condition 1 this value became 1 that's how we are getting as 1 so what this implies is right n is equal to k plus 1 right now i will substitute n is equal to k plus 1 everywhere in this relation so if i put n is equal to k plus 1 here and then n is equal to sorry n is equal to k plus 1 here right and then n is equal to k plus 1 here so what it will become i will just try it one more step so t times n is equal to k plus 1 minus k then n minus n is equal to k plus 1 right minus k minus 1 this step only the second bracket right n is equal to k plus 1 minus k minus 2 and so on till n right so if we clearly see this k and this k will get cancel right this will become t1 this k here and this k will get Cancel and minus and minus plus, so this will become two. This k and this k will get cancel. Minus minus plus and this will become three. This value will become three. So it will turn out as this, something like this. This will be t one, and this value is two. Next value is three, and next will be four, and so on till n, right? and why i said till k time it ran because i want this value as 1 right that's why i have taken it like this n minus k equal to 1 simply n minus k i can write it as 1 t1 is 1 only so this recurrence relation becomes 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 means this program usually ran till n times 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 till n right so now What is the sum of first n natural number? That is n into n plus one upon two. So we can write it as n square plus n right by two, right? So in terms of time complexity, that I will teach separately. We are telling it it run as order of n square. Bigger value we used to take. Bigger value we used to take. right bigger value so bigger value is n square so i will say order of magnitude of n square so this will be the time complexity of this recurrence relation recursive relation right so what i did i solved a program mathematically and then i told if this program is having this recurrence relation then it will be having this time complexity with the help of mathematics that's how starson matrix multiplication also was proved right so that's why this is very important 